Although the acceptance of Planck's formula by the then physics community was very straightforward, but its importance and far-reaching impact on the physics of coming days was not immediately realized. Even Planck himself was not convinced from the assumption of discreteness of energy he made in deriving his formula. Nevertheless, beside the excellent agreement in explaining the black body radiation curve, the formula is capable of reproducing all the previously formulas of black body radiation derived under certain special condition. In the following, I derive these formulas from Planck's formula given in terms of frequency in the form u of nu times d nu equals 8 pi nu square divided by c cube times h nu divided by exponent h nu or kt minus 1 times d nu. Let us first write this equation in terms of wavelength by using the formula nu equals c divided by lambda, where c is of course the speed of light and lambda is the corresponding wavelength to frequency nu. It is straightforward to put this equation into the form u lambda d lambda equals 8 pi hc divided by lambda raised to the power 5 times 1 over exponent hc divided by lambda kt minus 1 times d lambda. Let us use this form of the Planck's formula to derive first the relay genes formula. Expanding the exponential in terms of power series exponent, that is exponent hc divided by lambda kt can be written as 1 plus hc divided by lambda kt plus 1 over 2 factorial hc divided by lambda kt whole square and so on. Now in the limit of longer wavelengths the term with high powers can be ignored and the above equation reduces to exponent hc divided by lambda kt equals 1 plus hc divided by lambda kt which by taking by which by which by taking the one to the left side of the equation can be written into this form. Setting this value in the denominator of equation one gives u lambda d lambda equals eight pi c cube divided by lambda raised to the power five times one over h c divided by lambda k t times d lambda which theta were reduced to 8 pi times k times t divided by lambda raised to the power 5 d lambda. This is the religion's formula. Now let us use the Planck's formula to derive Wien's formula. In the region of small wavelengths, the exponent and the denominator of the Planck's formula, that is equation 1, becomes very large and the denominator can be approximated like exponent hc divided by lambda kt minus 1 approximately equals to exponent hc divided by lambda kt. With this approximation equation 1 can be written as u of lambda d lambda equals 8 pi hc divided by lambda raised to the power 5 times exponent minus hc divided by lambda kt d lambda and this is of course the Wien's formula. Now we can use Planck's formula to derive the Stephen Boltzmann formula. The energy density of total radiation in a black body radiation can be obtained by integrating the Planck's formula that is equation 1 from 0 to infinity. That is the energy density that is the energy density u equals integral from 0 to infinity 8 pi c divided by lambda raised to the power 5 times 1 over 
exponent hc divided by lambda kt minus 1 times d lambda. Now, in order to solve this integral, we follow the method of substitution. That is, I want to substitute x equal hc divided by lambda kt from which I can write lambda equals hc divided by x kt and differentiating this equation leads to d lambda equal hc divided by kt x square dx. So using this equation to define the integral for the new variable we can easily uh, said that when lambda tends to 0 x goes to infinity and when lambda goes to infinity x goes to 0. With this replacement equation 2 takes the form u equals integral from infinity to 0 8 pi hc times ktx divided by hc raised to the power 5 times 1 divided by exponent of x minus 1 times minus hc divided by ktx squared times dx. Rearranging the terms the equation can be put into that one form and then finally it can be rewritten into this final form. Now the integral in this equation is a standard integral whose values is equal to pi raised to the power 4 divided by 15. With this value of the integral the total energy density can be put into the form u equals 4 divided by c times 2 divided by 15 times pi raised to the power 5 times k raised to the power 4 divided by h cube c cube times t raised to the power 4. From this last equation one can show that the total energy per unit area per time emitted can be expressed as i of lambda equals 2 divided by 15 times pi raised to the power 5 times k raised to the power 4 divided by h cube c cubes times t raised to the power 4 which replacing all the constant within the brackets with sigma can be expressed as i lambda equals sigma times t raised to the power 4 and this is Stephen Boltzmann formula. The extension of all the previous formula from Planck's formula was another triumph of the Planck's formula.